Hey guys, King Gath here with Bethesda Mod School. In this fundamental, we're going to talk about linked references. So linked reference at the most basic is a way to establish a relationship between two things that exist in the game world. So that's the technical explanation of it. So let's give you guys an example to explain uh, or show you what that would look like. Um, so if you think about... You'll, you'll see many times in the game there will be NPCs wandering around with other NPCs following behind them. And usually this is done with linked references. So for example, let's say we've got our, our guy Solomon here and we wanted to have a couple of dogs following him. Um, the way that the default AI package does this is it looks for any linked, refer any linked reference. And uh, don't, I'm not going to get into what I'm doing in the creation kit. I'm just using this because it has a great visual example um, is that it draws an arrow. And so that's helpful. So um, anything with a linked reference, they will follow the thing that they're linked to. So in this case, we've got these dogs linked to Solomon here. And assuming that they have the default AI package, it is programmed to make it so that they, wherever Solomon goes, um, anybody linked to him was going to follow him. So these guys are going to look for their linked ref and they're going to just follow him around. So now uh, anything that we make Solomon do, these guys are just going to come in tow without us needing to program him. So the idea with linked refs is you establish some sort of relationship and it allows for dynamic behavior. So you can code a system that says something like that, that says, hey, Whenever you're standing around looking for something to do, if your linked reference moves, just follow him. And like, so then you can set up that behavior and now that relationship exists just through this linked reference. Um, some other examples of where linked references come into play. If you think about workshops, so you think about your settlement, you've got something like a sanctuary. When you walk into sanctuary for the first time, behind the house that has the workbench, the, the little red workbench that you activate, you'll know there's a couple of crops back there. If you played enough Fallout 4, you're familiar with that. And uh, those crops are linked to that workbench so that it, the game knows where that food goes, so that the food is applied to Sanctuary because that workbench is kind of the controller for that settlement. Uh, and so that is another way that, uh, that those are used. And so the, the idea is you establish a relationship with two things and then various systems in the game can react to that relationship. So um, the uh, so that whether it be something like an AI package uh, rely, uh, relying on those linked references to determine who should follow who, or it can be you know something like workshop mode where it's deciding how to distribute the resources. That is a way for game systems to react. So inherently, linked references do nothing on their own. They're just a way for systems to look for relationships between two objects in the game world. Now, so speaking from that fundamental standpoint, I'm going to give you examples. Just keep in mind that the idea of linked references, since we're talking fundamentals, is relationship between two things. So I want to talk about it more from that perspective. I'm only giving you the examples so that it can make it a little more concrete in your mind. Um, so another th fundamental thing about linked references to know is that you can only be linked to one thing at a time. Now, I know some of you who have done this before know are, are saying, no, that's wrong. Um, for uh, Just hear me out. So uh, just continue on from that premise. Um, but you can have only one thing that you're linked to. But anything can have as many things linking in. So this is identified with these arrows. So you can see that each of our dogs has an arrow pointing out from them into Solomon here. Uh, but if we try to take, say, this dog and link them to the other dog, and we go ahead and do that, you'll see that it replaced the link to Solomon. So by default, you can only you can only have a linked reference to one thing. But as you saw before, Solomon himself had two arrows coming in. So that's an important concept to understand: is that you can have any object can have as many things, any links coming in from outside, but you can only have one link going out. So that that limitation is good to know when you're planning out, if you're planning out any systems of your own, or if you're wondering why a particular thing is set up in a certain way. So you might be like, well, why isn't the dog linked to this dog and to Solomon? That way he can follow either of them. Well, it's not done that way just because then the game would have to eventually make arbitrary decisions. So in the case of the uh, of the follow system, it's always by ha by forcing the linked ref to be a uh, a single a single case, then it doesn't have to ever make these these arbitrary decisions when there are multiple to make. Um, it can always be very scientific. It can just be like, okay, it's always going to be that specific linked reference because you can only have one. Um, so it's good to know that uh, you can have many incoming, but only one outgoing. Now, there is a way to get around that limitation of a single outgoing, um, and that is through the use of keywords. So if we set up here, if we go ahead and set up another reference, we go here and hit new, 
and we select Solomon. And now we select a keyword from this list. Now I'm going to just select an arbitrary one. Uh, this None of these th that I'm going to select here are going to do anything. I'm just pointing out that you can have multiple uh, links here. So now you can see this link stayed there. So now we've got the first one that has nothing in the keyword column. And then the second one has that random keyword I selected here. So if we hit OK, you can see that now there are an arrow, multiple arrows going. So what that means is basically you can set up multiple relationships. In fact, we could even, if we took it one step further, we could even do another link on Solomon on a different keyword. So if we go grab this like activator lever and you can see that both of those will remain. Now, obviously in the creation kit, it's not, you're not going to have C2 arrows. It doesn't bother to render those. Uh, but basically you can have multiple relationships between references as long as you distinguish them through a keyword. And so then you can have different behavior accordingly. So if we look at some of these keywords that have the link word in them, this is how you identify a lot of the keywords that Bethesda uses specifically for this to modify some sort of behavior or relationships. Um, I can talk about some examples about things that you might've seen already. If you look at these link terminal things, these are very common links. And I believe that these are set up so that the game will dynamically dynamically add terminal entries to handle them. So link terminal safe means that that terminal controls a safe link terminal protectron means that that's going to enable or disable a uh, gives you the access to control a protectron things like that. So these types of links establish a relationship between two things. So then the gameplay systems can react accordingly. So if you haven't already, if you're not following the keyword fact of this, you probably, or if you did watch the fundamentals video about keywords, if you haven't, I recommend you do so. If you're not, not following this, you'll notice a very common pattern there of the way keywords work is that they, they are a way to group together uh, different things so that they can have common behavior. And so that is why keywords end up working perfectly with linked references in allowing for multiple relationships to be set up and then the keyword to modify that relationship in some way. It just fits perfectly with the way keywords generally are used. Um, so again, uh, with for more examples, just to help further uh, specify this, if we think about something like link power armor, uh, if you look throughout the game world in the creation kit, if you were to go digging around, you'd see that a lot of random raiders and various NPCs that you know always start with power armor uh, will have a link to a power armor to them. And that means that uh, they can sleep outside of the power armor, but they'll maintain a linked reference to it so that when they wake up and you know combat starts or their AI package is ready to turn over, they know which power armor to go to. They don't have to search randomly for one. They can grab the object that's linked to them on this keyword and they go make a beeline right for that. Uh, a little more complex example, and again, these these examples I'm using here, I'm doing a lot of them based on AI packages because that's a very common use for links, but it's definitely not a limiter in any way. Um, these just happen to be good, easy examples to talk about. So there are plenty of cases in the game where there are uh, different NPCs linked with these hold position keywords, and the number on them determines how far out their AI package works. So uh, basically what the game can look at is it can do something like, set up a single AI package that is capable of handling uh, various ranges of holding position. And but hold position with a range would mean something like, say there's a uh, guard post at a position and you want the NPC to generally stay around that, but you don't necessarily want them to stay right there. Maybe you want them to, you know, wander away and, and uh, look at other things or sit in a chair for a little bit, you know, get that, make them feel a little more lively instead of just standing still nonstop. Well, uh, the default AI package that uses these uses this number to be a radius of how far out. So in this case, this whole position 1000 would be anywhere within a thousand units of that thing you're linked to on this keyword. And by having multiple of these, the AI package can say, can have one condition set up if they have this linked ref, one if they have this linked ref, one if they have this linked ref, one if they have this. And so then Bethesda is able to set up a standard AI package that will work for all these scenarios. And uh, then the actual linked ref that's used to so then say, uh, that generic package that had all of these, if we link up old Solomon to a, uh, say to this 10 millimeter pistol here, so let's go ahead and link him here. And the reason I put this pistol here was just to, to reinforce that you can link to anything. It does not have to be actors. I know we were just using actors as, uh, as our examples there, but that's not at all a limitation. But if we go ahead and do this link hold position 1000, um, now that default AI package will mean he can hang out within a thousand units of our gun here and then our dog would follow him around and then uh, this dog would follow this dog based on the references so that's what would happen there um, but at the same time if we change that linked reference to uh to 300 now he's going to stay much closer because that ai package was also considered was also configured to look for a linked ref on this keyword and if it finds that instead then it changes the radius to 300. so natively the this 
this keyword doesn't know anything about the yardage. It doesn't know about 300 units. It doesn't know about a thousand units. That's just something that was, I just know that, that that's the way that those are coded based on my experience with the creation kit. But the differentiation in these naming, this is just, again, uh, Bethesda was able to systemize this. They were able to say, okay, we're gonna look, we're gonna name this this so it's easy to follow and easy to find. And then in our AI package, we can handle the programming of the actual radius. Uh, accordingly, and then so then we can just say we can ask the game engine, hey, do I have a linked reference on this keyword link hold position three hundred? If yes, then go ahead and and do this behavior, um, and then it's then the next step in the AI package might be okay. Well, if it didn't find that one, if it found one on five hundred, do this behavior. That's a radius of five hundred, etc. So these are the the linked references. You can have stacks of these. You can have a whole bunch of different linked refs. There's no limit as long as each one is on its own keyword. You can have uh, theoretically, I'm, there might be some limit memory wise or some upper limit. Maybe there's a limit. I've just never said maybe it's something like 255 linked references. But as far as I know, you can link as many times as you want to establish relationships from one object reference to another. So the final thing I'll say about object or about linked references is that they are not limited to being set up in the creation kit like I've shown you with arrows. These can actually be done at runtime with scripts. So you can dynamically change the relationship between things. Um, so for, you know, in our example with the AI and following, uh, we could have a script that makes the dog choose a new owner and then gets changes his link ref over to that owner so that he starts following that person instead, for example. So there's uh, the link references are, are not static. They can be changed at runtime. They can be set up in the creation kit or they can be set up for the first time in uh, at runtime. So that is something a lot of uh, uh, scripting mods will do commonly is link things together at runtime to set up relationships. I use that a ton in my mods. So linked references are a way to establish some sort of relationship between two object references. That's the, the crux of it. You can have one going out. If you want to have more going out, they need to be separated by keywords. And you can have on any keyword or not on a keyword, you can have as many linked references coming into a particular reference. And that gets uh, very useful to know when you start getting into more scripting stuff because there are some scripts where you might want to pull everything that's linked inward to me, for example. Uh, talking about our workshop item example from before. It's common that the a script is run to grab all workshop items that are linked to the workbench and then do some sort of uh, math on them. You know, so iterate through them and look at how much food there is, etc. Things like that. So, uh, linked references are a very powerful thing. They're a great way to establish relationships between things and then modify behavior often in the gameplay systems. So